The speeches at Casement Square kicked off with Together Gibraltar leader Marlene Hassan Naon, who said it was important to mobilise voters as a low turnout at this referendum could be worrying for the Yes campaign. This referendum should not be happening. We should not have to put a fundamental human right to a public vote. This referendum will be polarizing friends and family. So what we need to do is mobilize every single person we know and drag them to vote yes in that referendum. Because unless we get a 70 or 80 percent turnout, we are in trouble and we might not pass it through. So we have to make people understand what is at stake and that everybody has a stake in this. International speakers also addressed the crowd with the Irish abortion rights campaign group turning out in force. If we can do it, if we can legalise abortion, I really do believe that Gibraltar can do it. And I think, I sincerely believe that you've got this on March 19th. The event also saw Mara Clark of the Abortion Support Network delivering an address, as well as Pam Lowe, a senior lecturer from Aston University. If you believe that every uh, fetus is from God, that the unique DNA is a marker of that. But you know what? It really isn't. All right? That is their interpretation. It is not science. Because facts count, and we have the facts. When you make abortion against the law, you don't stop it. You make it so that women and couples with money can have abortion and women without money can have babies or in some cases try dangerous things to end their pregnancies. Let's stop talking about if abortion is right or wrong. When you ban it, you change it from being an issue of personal morality to being an issue of class. Local lawyer Justine Picardo cited her own experience of an ectopic pregnancy. She said the miscarriage had not happened naturally and she would have had to have a medical termination in order not to risk death. This was a very difficult time for me and my family. According to the Financial Times, four out of five terminated pregnancies in England are early medical abortions carried out before 10 weeks gestation. Believe me when I say I am pro-life. I am a very lucky woman. I have a loving husband and a beautiful family who support me. But I live in a reality where I know that not everyone has that support network. Could someone regret their abortion? Of course they can. Could abortion be subject to abuse? Of course it can. Do we have to penalize every woman because of the very few? Of course not. We need to trust women. Mrs. Picardo called for empathy, compassion and respect for a woman's rights to choose and called for a yes vote at the referendum.